And well, the unprecedented weather in West Texas, especially this year's storm, has taken a big toll on the environment here. Alma Angeles is a master gardener with Keep Odessa Beautiful, and she has some tips for helping to restore specifically trees around the Permian Basin, which is so needed right now. And Alma, I mean, how much of an impact did this winter have on trees here? Um, it had a huge impact on our trees this year. Um, if your tree hasn't sprouted by now even one green leaf, it's probably most likely time for that tree to go. So, um, so, you know, start either looking for somebody to help you professionally or if you have the equipment or can rent it um, to go ahead and try to remove that tree, but always remember to call before you dig. Yeah, and I was going to say, for people that do have damaged trees around the basin outside of their homes, what are some good tips that they can do with those trees? Um, they can actually trim those down and then uh, for the citizens of Odessa, they can take them to the Household Hazardous Waste at 814 West 42nd. There they will mulch the tr uh, mulch it and then people can pick up the mulch for free. Yeah, and let's say someone, you know, hasn't planted a tree before, they don't have trees um, in their home. Why could it be a good idea um, and a good benefit to their home to think about doing so? Uh, if you plant it in the right location around your home, um, it, of course, it's going to provide shade, um, conserve energy um, when it's fully matured. Um, also, um, um, it is great for our habitat, uh, for our animals, you know, they, they need uh, those trees. It's going to give us oxygen, and it's just a satisfaction of, I did this, I planted this tree. And yeah, and it can even add value to your home, right? Yes, property value it does definitely go up. It could go up into the thousands, uh, for depending on the size and maturity of the tree. And for people that maybe don't have that space, maybe they live in an apartment, they can still plant trees around the Permian Basin. I mean, why do you highly recommend that people do this? How much of a benefit is even just one tree to the area? Um, you know, it's a b the benefit of uh, we we need the trees, you know, the oxygen it provides. And you can always volunteer with different maybe nonprofits if somebody's doing a memorial garden. Um, if your neighbor, you know, if they're elderly and they want to plant a tree or someone um, as a family is wanting to do a tree, you know, as friends, you can plant a tree together and the benefit of, you know what, we created that, that, that was, that's our tree. Yeah, and specifically in the Permian Basin, what are some of the best trees that you should be planting? Um, you know, there's a variety that are very drought tolerant, uh, Desert Willow, our Vitex, uh, our Texas Redbud, Mexican Redbud, um, Texas Mount Laurel. Um, there's a list of over 20 trees that are good for the Permian Basin. Okay, so definitely ones that are a bit more drought resistant yes, and ones that can sustain kind of that hot, drier weather. Mm -hmm. Afghan pine, our pinyon pine, our lace bark elm. Um, there's just a, a great variety of trees that, um, to, depending on the size um, of the tree that you are wanting to have. Awesome. And for people wanting to plant trees or even just figure out what to do with their damaged trees after this winter, where can they go to find more information about dealing with this? Um, they can visit uh, the Permian Basin Master Gardening website, which is westtexasgardening.org. Um, you can always ask a master gardener to come out to your home and they will um, try to come out to your home and answer any questions you may have in regards to your plants or trees. All right, almost such great advice there. Thank you so much for Thank being you. in with us today.